Yeah. Check out that whole thing here. Which I love. It's so good. Yeah, this one works really well. So looking at your notes, we're saying shop four with more chaos, right? So you got this guy. Um, obviously the cat in the last shot, lighting meat, lighting everything. So you did the T-Rex in the last shot for the attack. Um, except for the chaos spinning shot. Yes, I was just going to say. So what are you you're talking about this one, right? Because this one seems still very very similar. So looking at this, I mean, there's really it might be some stuff with lighting. You know, sometimes with lighting, things can things can change. Um, you know, proper colors in the backgrounds for stuff for silhouette we can work on potentially. Now. Can we talk about this guy having a bit of a faster adjustment in the legs? See, so he comes in, and I thought also more left and right through here. So I'm not quite sure. I don't see that in your notes. Um, so you did the T-Rex, but you're saying cat in the last shot. So just um, let me know if that's something that. You feel like nah, you don't want to do, or it's too much. I think it'd still be cool to get a bit more. You know, you go then go left and right, left and right, which will carry over into this shot, which would be really cool. And then as he starts ah biting and shaking the tail, so they're not so twin here, the tail could come up and have kind of a you know a whipping motion type of thing. To get a bit more action in there. So you're mentioning this one for sure, more action. Yeah, the only thing with with um, the T-Rex in the last one, I think it would be cool if he goes, he turns around and then he goes like during this section here, have a, a tiny little, not a tiny little, just enough of her. Right, he's basically, I smacked you down, take it, It's basically that type of energy and attitude. And then he gets ready, right? So you got a little, like, ah, take it, bastard. And then he gets ready. And then the tricky thing about this one is he puts his foot down here, right? So it feels like it's a bit further back. And he goes forward for the roar. But then I feel that he might start topple over. Like, I, it would be good to bring up your arms a bit, tighten them. Maybe it doesn't have to be uh, up, but, you know, bring them, not like forward like this, but up, just tense towards the body. So that this foot has a clear select to take a step forward. I feel like just balance-wise, it needs that. And also, it will help with the aggressiveness of roar, I'm roaring you fucker, and at the same time, I'm taking a step forward to tell you this is what's going to happen. Now, I understand that after that, you would take the same step here. But see if he goes around here and takes a step with this guy, then you would have right, right. I still think, let's see, you can go. Well, you can try. You can try what feels better to you, too. If you want to, after the turn, he goes forward and, and yells here. And because of that, he takes a step with this. Or he does it with this one, which means that during during this, he would take a step with the other leg. So this guy would stay down here and it would be this leg going forward. Now, this is cool here because it's an open silhouette. Otherwise, with my stupid comment, you would start crossing, you know. That's a bit of a tricky thing and I'm not sure how much that is going to change your body and everything. but. There's anything you might do to go it might actually work if you take this guy and it's not a full plant you just come down for like a slight slight toe down adjustment and then push off to go forward another step but again you might readjust the overall pose so that on the um, these little arms are higher forward here which means that this guy 
could be further here and then as it takes the adjustment step it might be like this that could work if that makes sense I hope that makes sense somewhat yeah I'm curious about this shot here I think what the cat's doing is cool here right so, there's something here that the only thing feels a bit odd is that you're coming down for the hit so he's rolling over and watch out for your intersection so you there might be some other you know like if the head is here and he rolls over technically the head would have rolled over this part which means that the head would actually be up here the pivot would have changed a bit so that it's more like that so that this happens earlier but the thing is you got a rotation going on this way but then once you hit his butt he actually suddenly turns this way which does feel a bit odd i do love that and i love that it keeps looking at him and all this here so you might have to adjust something throughout here so that you go into this so this means that if you're like this you have to turn this way if you're going backwards so that means that it will be the head here but away from us that can still work since he's here and the head is towards us he really rolls off that top part of the head but his head is always towards us always towards us never profile like this towards us so that it ends up like that right I think that is totally doable and then then it gets ready and it's awesome like magnet and if you watch Breaking Bad, but it'd be magnet, bitch. Yeah. I think those are the major points. I mean, it's already everything's really nice with the compression here and the, and the tail. It's gonna be such a fantastic sequence. I love it. So good. Let's watch this again, just because it's so awesome. Yeah, chaos, chaos, chaos. Faster too. Yeah, definitely. Energy totally dies. Goes back. Yeah, very, very cool. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.